Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Heroes of the Storm. I'm your host, Bloodthirsty Lord, and today we're playing as the monk, aka Karazim. We're going to destroy this treasure goblin as quick as possible, since I want to get that objective or achievement done to get that special portrait for this event. You get some sexy treasure goblin portrait, which will be only available through this event. I don't think it will be coming in the future, so I want to unlock that just to show off how good I am. Our level 1 winner pick up Transcendence, I'm guessing. We're going to go for a healing build. So that's maybe the best option. Or we could be Insight. I'm just trying to think. Let's try something else. We're going to go with Insight. Every third base attack, we do gain some mana. Kill our team, do some damage on this guy. We're going to kill this card as even quick and. Oh, he's going to bounce out. And a little rundown on this hero. His Q ability is called Radiant Dash. He's able to dash towards the enemy, friendly um, hero, or friendly minions as well. Pretty much anything. And he lands off a basic attack straight away. He can charge up to. He can have two charges on that Radiant Dash, which is the best thing, which helps him gain mobility. And it can also be comboed with his next ability, which is called Breath of um, Breath of Heaven, which is his healing ability, a AOE healing effect. That heals everything around him in a radius, which is pretty good. It's like Brightwing's healing um, passive, but on ability. It's kind of decent. And his next ability is called Deadly Reach. He's able to crunch through uh, more speed with his attack, more attack speed, and more attack range. So that's pretty good. We're gonna go Ray Tech since they are having a I'm pretty. I'm um, having a fight there, as you can see. I might have to help out my Kerrigan player. Close combat, OP, bro. <laughs> wow. Let's go and try out. <laughs> Look at them rage boys. Not rage. They're just complaining about how they couldn't hit that combo. If they hit the combo. They would be the guaranteed kill. Because Kerrigan's so strong at the moment. I just love the way she's been. Not reworked. But buffed up, if that makes any sense. I'm pretty much in this lane right now since Zagara is not in the bot lane. And we, we don't have enough coins for a turn in. Like one off, so there's no point of us being around the turn in unless we can pick up that other coin, which I think they are trying to do. So we're going to try and help them out. We might kill this Sergeant Hammer. Not a guarantee. She got away and she had the one coin that we needed to pick up. Let's try to get around here and help heal my teammates before they do get destroyed. I can't. Oh my god, that was just a bad scenario. We did lose our Malfurion. And we might need to explain the matchup before we keep on going on about or ranting about this game and how sexy it is. <laughs> we just need to focus on this game. But we might need to go through a rundown of the matchup for today. I'm just going to pick up this camp before saying it. Pick up those two coins. Let's get into the bowling and hopefully fountains up. Fountains up. We're gonna pick out level four, uh, protective shield since we need that. And also the matchup for today is Stitches, Karazim, Kerrigan, Malfurion, and Zagara versing. Can't kill this. Their ability is so good. Versing ETC, Karazim, Jaina, Sergeant Hammer, and uh, Uther. So this is pretty fun. Right now I don't know why I'm in the bot lane. I went to pick up. Um, coins and went to the fountain. I did some damage on the minions and tried to help him kill Sergeant Hammer. Uh, we failed there, so I'm just going to be around here and help my other teammates. My mind is I'm, clear. I'm hoping Kerrigan would maybe stay in the top lane since everyone else is rotating for some reason. We need some, we need to soak XP. Even if we've got the lead for now, it's always good to keep a massive lead, especially early. Let's destroy these. Heal my minions. Oh, can you even heal minions? Always forget, always get mixed up. Some um, healing characters or supports can heal their minions as well. Always forget which ones. No, I don't forget. Always think that I've got the one that heals minions. I don't know why. It's all cool. Got our teammates. We're going to try and do a turn in before the enemy team does do this. Let's heal our teammates again. Great and dash into yes, easy kill on the Jaina. Unfortunately, Stitches did miss his hook just then. If you got that hook, it would have been some amazing hook. 
I think we should... We've got enough coins? We have enough coins. I want you to give my two coins in since I don't think I'll be able to help them kill Stitches. Because we've got a Malfurion and a Stitches. Oh, in a, uh, kill ETC, sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know why I said Stitches. At level 7, I'm going to pick up Echo of Heaven. Echo of Heaven pretty much means my double ability after two seconds does the healing ability again, but only for 50% of the healing. Oh, not that. Oh, no, no, no. We just missed. I thought she was going to get away, but I, I forgot about that Stitches hook. I thought we already used it. I thought it was on cooldown. Oh, cool. I think we might need to help him. Just keep him healthy throughout this little fight. What are we doing? We did pick up the first. I think the first. Could be the first. I'm going to say it's the first. First pirates by turning out Dublin's and hopefully we can destroy one of their structures to gain some more XP. So we get closer to that level 10 um, heroic abilities. So we need them. To pretty much completely destroy them. If we completely destroy them early, most likely they will go on tilt. And the healing monk is maybe one of the best monks out. Um, the best healing um, characters out now. He's a, he's a sexy monk. I'm just going to say that. He's one sexy monk. But his healing power is so incredible, it's unbelievable. Okay, we got that kill on the Sarge Hammer, and also she did drop a coin, and Azagara picked it up. We did pick up, um, we did get level 10. And for a level 10 ability, we're going to pick up, because this is, we're going for a healing build, no, di not much DPS. We're going to pick up Divine Palm. Divine Palm pretty much means, if the enemy is on, pretty much, close to um, nearly dying, you activate the ultimate on that hero, and if he dies, and the ultimate is on him, he much comes back to life with a uh, amount of health. I think it's 2,000 something. Okay, 1,500. I think later on it becomes 2,000 something. Which is pretty good. It's like Rager's ultimate, but in a dying form. If, if the person's close to dying, you just activate it. And usually, she should get up and do something before she ends up getting destroyed, or we can turn back and destroy them in a fight. Let's go back in our mounts. We've got a top, um, there's a top cam pushing at the moment, and I'm going to ping the bend on that, just in case. Oh, no. Oh, he just missed it. The stitches. I was waiting for him to pull it. Where's Zagara? Oh, Zagara's in mid lane. We had her here. We've got these kills. We should be able to kill this ATC. Maybe not. Since he uses his slide ability. Yeah, dead. Easy kill. The sergeant um, hammer got destroyed because Stitches pretty much gobbled her up. And then after releasing her out of the stomach of Fury, um, Malfurion landed his stun on her. Pretty much it was a guaranteed easy kill. I don't know why. I never go two subs with Monk. I don't know why. Unless I'm, if I'm going DPS Monk, two subs is amazing. But this is a quick match and anything can happen. And for some reason, by having two subs, we're doing pretty well. We've got a massive lead at the moment. We're going to turn our coins in just for safety reasons and insurance. So if we don't die, if we, if we do die, we've already gave our coins, so it's all good. And we did help out the team by doing that. <laughs> I do lessons. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Till my team is up. I'm already doing only 9,000, and the reason I'm doing 9,000, because it doesn't feel like we've been fighting a lot. It's been more of a pick, um, picking off enemy heroes. Wow, that blast. Yeah, we've only been picking off enemy heroes, and we haven't been full, uh, full on skirmishing. And since I picked up the level 1 talent, which was called Inside, I should be able to spam my... Oh, no way, he got away. A couple of you got away. Hit my team members. And since level 1 talent, it does give me ma uh, mana, so we can keep spamming abilities and pretty much that one else. ETC does land his ultimate on me and Kerrigan. Help. I'm going to ultimate Kerrigan. Yep, that works. See, now she goes into Stasis, now back with health, and she's out for vengeance. We pick up the kill on the ETC, and the Jaina, Jaina ultimate, he's trying to crush slow us down, but that was too late. What's up, boys? <laughs> At level 13, we're going to pick up our next talent, which will be... Let's see. I can get um, Quicksilver, which will give me more movement speed. 
or increases the um, duration of Deadly Reach, which is pretty good. What do they have? A Jaina? Should I get Spell Shield? I'm going to go with Raiden Dash for that more movement speed, so I can keep going around my teammates and pretty much healing them constantly. Kill these off. Chest start up. We're going to pick up the coins as quick as possible. Hopefully the enemy team doesn't really contest since they are pretty behind. Land the combo, land the combo. Land the combo. Oh. How should get out? There we go. Easy kill. Oh, for some reason, I was expecting her to um, use her ability to escape. Her mount ability. Well, we're good. We pick up these coins. We have five coins now. We might need to turn in since... We have enough coins. I might help these guys fight first. Even though they've got already under control. I just want to help them out. B team player. Hook? Is your hook up? Please tell me your hook's up. I'm, I'm guessing it's coming up soon. There we go. He can't get out. There's no way. There's no way. He already used his slide ability, so they pretty much left him vulnerable for us to destroy him. And with Kerrigan's combo and Stitcher's hook, there's no way of escaping after that. We did get the pirate once again. We're doing pretty much amazing damage at the moment. We've con got amazing control in this game. I don't know why I always stutter. I always try and think of something else to say. Or when I think of the next thing to say, I always stutter. That shows how much things go through online while playing Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> and now we're gonna hopefully... I'm gonna just ping this. Will he do it? I need help. I can't do it alone. I can't. I kind of start it alone because it's kind of unsafe. But I think that was, the, that was the best option for us to do then. We can try and kill this Uther. Now we missed that. Hopefully this Stitches Calm helps. I want him to help. Since we need some lane pressure occurring in the bot lane. As we can use it as a distraction for us to push other lanes. Or pick up even a boss. At level 16 we're going to pick up. Let's see. Circle of Life is pretty interesting. So pretty much, um, Circle of Life is... It helps you heal a lot more if you have other team members around you. That ETC is dead. There's no escape now. No way he's going to escape. Land the combo. Yes, easy. I want to turn in. Since I have enough coins to help out with the turn in. We have circle of healing. Pretty much, if we ever grouped and I use this uh, my breath of heaven with the circle, uh, circle of healing and also echo of heaven, we're pretty much doing amazing heals for my team. I'm not, I don't think um, this is a talent is the must go to on him, but since if you're always clustered together, I see it as a good talent. But the other ones are pretty good as well. To have two seconds less on your radiant dash. Which gives you even more mobility to get in and out. Or to get in as quick as possible and save your team members. Let's kill his Jaina. Perfect. You get ulted by the ATC. He's got three people in his ultimate. But I don't think that's going to do anything since our team is going godlike. Let's heal our members. Are you close enough to kill this monk? Use his seven sided ultimate. He did land in the Kurgan combo. He could die. Nah, he's gonna escape. There's no way of him dying. He's got Radiant Dash available. We can kill them under the um, under the fort, uh, under the keep. Sorry, we're just so strong at the moment, and with our heals, it just keeps us with full sustain. Look, it's a four v five. That's how good we are. Or four v. I think it was a four v five. I don't think Jaina was there. Because she died at the very start of that fight. She's dead. Easy kill. There we go. Picking up kills like no tomorrow, boys. Games like this, it's it's not it didn't feel one sided at the start. It felt like it was kind of equal. But after the first couple of minutes, after the enemy team did make mistakes, and my Kerrigan and my stitches were pretty much abusing those mistakes. 
the, the, that they made to our advantage, so that really did help us out to gain a massive advantage through level and through kills. Let's keep healing our team. That's the point of this build. I think I only use my ultimate like one or twice in this gameplay. Since that's how healthy we've been. There we go. Easy win, boys. Easy win. I'm just going to ultimate myself just to make it easy. There we go. We did destroy them, in my opinion. That much fun in a while, to be honest. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my personal channel for more amazing gaming content. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.